How have you been, Miss Chelsea? Oh, up and down. Gravity at work, miss. Slightly more down than up. Oh, don't worry, my dear. The wind will change. And ruin one's hair. Oops. Thank you. I'm pleased you didn't cut it. Oh. I remember your last haircut. When you were five. Awful experience. <laughs> They picked the wrong girl to look like Shirley Temple. <gasps> I fished curlers out of the lake for a whole week. You were the only one who understood. Mother insisted on that haircut for my first dance concert. She didn't care about the dancing just as long as I looked good. You look lovely. Couldn't get the steps right, though. No one helped. No one took it seriously. No one but you. You worked and worked with me until I got it right. It's funny, Henry. Still can't get the steps right. Maybe now that you're here, I will. There's no mull in the hall, is it? As you say, miss. Be good news. The shot might kill me. Things not quite up to par, eh, miss? Oh, you know, I, uh, I've only lost my teaching job and my love life is shot and I haven't slept in days, but really. Have you ever been through a time in your life when things just seem tough? Yes, miss. The Second World War. Thank you, Henry. I'm now going into my bedroom. Lie down, toss and turn, break out into a cold sweat of anxiety and stare at the ceiling till the wee hours of the morning. A very good, miss. Oh. Your breakfast is served, miss. Thank you. You know, Henry, I adore you. I just, I just don't, don't think that this can work. I mean, I just don't have that much room here. But it's my job, my pledge, my duty to serve you. Oh, um, all right. Well, okay. Maybe Jack would let you help me out at the restaurant. Yeah, but then, when I'm off duty, that's it. And that is your wish? That's, oh, that's my wish, yes. Oh, Miss Chelsea. You look so pretty in a frock. Thank you. Jack. Hi. Um, I'm trying to find something to keep Henry occupied, and uh, I was wondering if, if you could do me a favor and let him help out here. May I? Maybe. Yeah, I, I, I can probably use him, sure. Bonsoir, monsieur, madame. He looks terrific. <laughs> Does he come with the suit? Always. One of the Baron's best vintages. Not anymore. Uh, Manfred and Selina. This is Henry. He's going to be assisting here for a bit. Could you some good help. Chelsea, serve this correctly for once in your life. Allow me, man. Oh, Henry, the uh, vegetables go... At 10 o'clock. Of course. Parsley at noon. That's presentation. I'm Merlot, madam. Thanks. Fruity but firm. Henry is terrific. Yeah. He's, he's really got away with the customers. 
Henry's the best thing to happen around here in years. Thanks for bringing him in. Anything to help us pull back with weight, Ron. How's your week with Patrick going? Um, it's actually a little rough. He's been really, really cold with Elodie. I think she'll win him over, though, you know? She's really warm. She's very funny. She's very generous. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, did I tell you the great thing Oops, she said? Oops, um, customers play me. Sorry. Okay. As you can see, madam, we have an embarrassment of riches on our tray, but I could see in your eyes the lure of Swiss chocolate mousse. Thank you, madam. Melville, the crawfish bisque was excellent. Oh, oh Henry, all the customers have gone home. For the staff. Oh, oh thank you. It is a wonder, Chelsea. Henry, I found something in an antique shop yesterday just for you. Henry, take your coat off and stay a while. Must I remove my coat? <laughs> it's the family motto, nullus relaxare, never relax. It's a matter of decorum. Ah, oh, what a thing to grow up with. Decorum, order, food, exquisitely prepared, and then proper presentation. Oh, what well, I oh. wouldn't give for proper presentation. I'm sorry if we disappoint. It's not your fault. Henry's a professional, a man of stature, a valet. You, he's just a waitress. Mm. Come on, let's not talk shop. Darts! Come on, Henry, give us a toss. Show us how it's done. There you go. You gotta learn to relax and enjoy yourself. I have my amusements. Hey, oh. what a shot! That was <laughs> great! How do you do that? You didn't have to teach us how to do that. <laughs> Is it the grip? It's all in the wrist. Hey! Hey! Oh. That was a great shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, you gotta try the ankles. Show them how to do it. Did you sleep well, miss? It's almost time to report for duty. Oh, uh, don't feel like duty today, Henry. Tell Jack something. Um, handle it. Yes, miss. You'll think of something to say. You always do. As you wish. and his Richmond Orchestra reminding us to confess, unburden your soul, don't sit on your feelings. That song had a message ahead of its time. Let's continue our pre-Freudian song review with The Glory of Love. Hello, Jack's Place. Hi. Hi, what are you up to? Not much. How are you feeling? I'm a bit bipolar. Hmm? No, it has nothing to do with Antarctica. It just means I could use a friend to talk with. <laughs> uh, how's Henry doing? Well, he just carried in two full trays of soup. He didn't spill a drop. The guy's amazing. Hello? Greg? Are you there? Oh, yeah. Um, I just I gotta run. Elodie just walked in. Greg? 